Okay. We will start on the second section on page Kuf Lamazai. We, we are talking about Oir Me'ein Hamoir. And then we had the, the paramount question that Tanya is saying the opposite. He says, no, the Oir, the way it is in the Edson, is in a, in much superior than the Oir that that is mispashit. So the Rebbe explains that this inferiority of the oil because it's mispashit is not due to the fact that it's being recreated. <coughs> excuse me to 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 uh, to be to be mayor to create and an, um, an, 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 to be fit into the world. This is not the reason. The reason is. This very same way, the way it is in the Moir, when it comes begilui, gilui per se, reduces the, 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 the intensity and the truth of the Oyer. Why? Because gilui gives the Oyer a definition of a Metsius Oyer. A presence. Gilu means that you can identify, you can see it. The way the oil is in the Shemesh, it is part and parcel of the Shemesh. There is no identity of oil by per se, per se. When it comes the Gilu, the Gilu means that you can reveal, you can identify the Matthias of the oil. That becomes a Matthias, al component Matthias. If it's a Metzius, even, even though it's a Metzius of Oir, it's the same Metzius that represent that the representative of what Shemesh is. Nonetheless, it's a Metzius. It's identifiable independently, and therefore that already is not, is, is a much lower than Lower than? Lower than the way it is inside the Shemesh. Let's put some words to this. When it is in the Shemesh, it does not have its own Metzius. It is present exclusively due to the presence of the Shemesh. The Shemesh is Behiri, and whatever it is in the, in the, that, that there is in the Shemesh is in the Shemesh because of the Shemesh is Behiri. When it comes Begilui, then, then it has a, a presence of its own. Therefore, it is no longer with that same purity and that same fundamental truth as it is in the Shemesh. In the Shemesh, the oil is in the absolute truth. This is something which we repeated many times. Because the Shemesh is Behiri in essence. The Shemesh does not create brightness. That this is what it is. I've been mentioned many times. We should not be, be misled by the, by the appearance that the Shemesh is heat, is fire, and then this is what creates the brightness. No, the Shemesh was created as brightness. The essence of brightness. What kind of pre- creation is this? Like, and this is, there's no tangibility to it. How, what kind of pre- presence is this in the world? The answer is, it is not a worldly presence. It's a divine presence. The Rebbe said it should be, and it is. Just as the Yod said that was created on the first day, should be the Hashem and the Himal Kimi He Oyer by He Oyer. There were no luminaries. It was created Oyer per se. And this is what the Shemesh represents. <coughs> and this is the Pshat Oyer Meyein Hamoyer. Let us examine for a moment and what is so special about that. Because right in the beginning of this section on, on the previous page, on the uh, Omnum, bottom section of the previous page, Yesh Milo Yisrael Obeir, the additional Milo, 
a superior mile in oil over Shefa. Because oil is made of So what is so special about the Shadar and oil made of oil? The, the, the unique in 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 the oil in oil is not the effect of the oil. How powerful is the oil? The brightness of the oil. <coughs> Rather, oil in oil is immediately attesting to this to this phenomenon that this is a godly command that there should be oil. There is no physical or worldly means by which he can explain this oil. What then is Meila Moir? It is representative of the Moir. The Moir is an Etzem Behiri and so forth and so too is the oil that's Mispashit. And this is the tremendous quality, gift of this oil. What is the special gift of this oil? As we mentioned many times, and I'm going to repeat it again. World per se, as we said in the beginning, world per se is dark. When the world was created, it's a chayshik World by itself is chayshik. Because the world is, a, a tangi- is, is a tangibility dependent. That which you can touch, that's what, that's what exists. It does not have a primary existence, an um, existence of of truth in, in, in terms of it exists because it exists. It exists because it has a, it has a presence. It's a tangible presence. It has, it has a means by which it exists. The oil reveals in the in the in the in the world the phenomenon. That no, this world is not as a physical world. This world is a divine creation. It is there because God wants it to be. This is what the oil illuminates. This is what the oil shows. When we see through oil, as we said many times, the oil does not show us that that the world is tangible. It shows it to be out of the world, period. It shows us it shows us the divine concept of world rather than a worldly presence of world. So this why is, do we call it why do we call it etzam? Why we should call it godly? What's the what, what? Etzem? Why do we call it etzam? Of oil we call etzam. Why we should Oil we don't call it etzam. Oil is on the we call Atsam Behiri, which should say it's... No, the Shemesh is Atsam The Shemesh is Atsam Behiri. Not the oil. Yeah, but what we're saying that the Atsam is the Pshat that Hashem created it. So what is Atsam signified with that? No. We always extend words to where it was not. Etzim does not say that Hashem created it. Etzim says that it's an essential presence. That there's no worldly way, way to explain it. It's not because of its of its kalim that it that it has this that it has this 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 um, quality. Therefore, where does such an entity come from? How does it maintain? It maintains because the Rebbe Shot creates it. The whole concept of an etzim is a divine, a divine possibility. The world does not have such a possibility. In the world, everything has to have a means by which it, it occurs. What holds it up? Like we say, the table stands because there is legs that hold it up. It makes sense. Even though the main thing of the table is the board, but there's no way you can have a board without a board at the, at the level that you need it without, without legs. The 
The Shemesh is an etzim behiri. It's a bright etzim. The brightness of the Shemesh is not due to any any of its of its uh, tangible of, of its contain of its composition. The brightness of the Shemesh is not because it was created bright, it was created a, 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 as a bright entity. The oil that emanates from the Shemesh emanates from this brightness. And therefore the oil is of a phenomenal quality. It brings to the world a new a new reality. Of oil, of, of behirius. And what does it reveal in the world? It reveals in the world that the world that the world is, is a divine creation. Because if it were exclusively physical, you would need something that would make him, that would, that would, that would have enough physical means by which you, you relate to it. Sight is not a physical means by which you relate to it. Light is not a physical means. It's what we call b'derech memele. It's effortless, it's but automatic. Automatic doesn't have in the world, in physical world does not nothing happens automatically. Please Shaima, if you quote quote correctly, we never said that it's a means that, that that this is divine creation. True, there cannot be anything etzim that is not a divine creation. And etzim is this only because of divine because of divine creation. But etzim is has its own thing. It's etzim behiri, and because it's etzim behiri, therefore it has oyer that is also behiri. Meir hamoyer. This, what we're saying, mamela. What's, is there a decent way to think about it? We have the English word automatic. I uh, said effortless. Okay. The only, thing I, the only way right. I can think of it. Effortless. It illuminates the whole world effortlessly. Without being engaged in, in, in accomplishing it. When I think of effortlessly, I, I tend to think about a stone rolling down a hill. Not 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 well, not a good example. Question. Not a good example. Yeah, because the stone rolling down down the hill, there is a physical cause why it rolls down. Ah, so here this this effortlessness is beyond any causation we may think any worldly causation. Exactly right. And yet, it, and yet, it has a sort of eternal, ongoing, abundant output. Yeah. What the oil, what light reveals in the world is not a worldly reality. Right. It reveals that the world is a real, is real in, in, from from a divine perspective, from a divine oh. level. So by Mamela, it's okay to think about an infinite, effortless input. It's re, it does reach a world effect. Effect. Okay, fine. But it's re, so it's reaching a so-called worldly context, namely us. But it's it's ongoing and it's effortless, infinite. That's right. Okay. And the background that enables it to do that because of its own truth. Okay, so let's go to the next section again. Hine, behold. Again, I remind us all what the meaning of the word behine is, and it is definitely it is therefore a call to us to subscribe and to relate to our true intellect. Not intellect that we experience and we recognize by some kind of a experiment and, and proof. 
our Nishoma intellect. Behold. Kmoi boi viziv Hashemesh. Even as it is in the oil and the Ziv Hashemesh, that we described till now, Kmoi Kain, the similar union is who beoi vechai is an nefesh, the hachis is a goof. The same thing is reflected in the, in, is, is true also in the oil and the chayas and nefesh. The oil and the chayas and nefesh. Let's translate this. Hopefully we can, we can go through without confusion. Chayas and nefesh is the life element that nefesh provides for the goof. This life element of the nefesh provides for the goof starts off, comes from the nefesh. From the nefesh, it's called oil ha nefesh. Oil ha nefesh means the presence the, of the nefesh. Not the effect of the nefesh, but the presence itself. Like we said in Yon Hashemesh. The Hashemesh is the presence of the Shemesh. It's not an, an action of the Shemesh. The Shemesh is the presence of the Shemesh. Because the Shemesh is the Etzim Behiri. The Nefesh is the Etzim Chai. Therefore, the Oir, the presence of the Nefesh, is Oir. Oir again is a, an intangible presence, just like just like it may be given the most of the human being. The human being's presence, especially presence in his own home, is not via any kind of a activity, an effect. His presence is because he is there, therefore his oil is there. And this oil is mispashate. It encompasses the entire house, no matter how big the house is. As we said, to demonstrate it, if you have a home that is 10 story high, and there's an attic, and someone wants to climb into your attic and set up home, set up house in your, in your attic, an attic that you never saw and you never intend to see, you will never, unless you will not let him stay there. Why not? Why be so 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 cruel? His presence in the attic interferes with the truth of your ownership of this house. The ownership of the house is the oil of your the oil of your reality of your truth. So this the same thing we say in Chayzan Nefesh. Oil of Chayzan Nefesh. There's an oil of Nefesh. There is an oil that they present that says, there is a Nefesh. This is the truth of Nefesh. And then it translates in, in, in as Chayz, as life. And this life becomes life-giving. Lahachis is a goof. To give life to the goof. How does the oil of Nefesh, which is how does it result in Lahachis as a goof? To be Mechayah the goof. Very similar to the way Oyer Hashemesh, Oyer Vizim Hashemesh, results in, in, in illuminating the world. By its very presence, it reveals world. And builds what world is by its very presence. It 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 it, it it's highest, and it makes life. It brings life to that in which it is imbued. Lachis aguf, shuhu gamkein, which is also rag haor olavat. The oil has an efesh. Is only haor. Is only a haor a reflection of what the what the nefesh is. Not the etzim nefesh, not the way it is in Shefa. That in Shefa you you give the the essence of the seichel. 
in Chayat HaNefesh, Yonegif Eha Oro of the Nefesh. Sheharei, again Sheharei, for, as we hold, Etzem HaNefesh, the Etzem HaNefesh, the essence of the Nefesh, Eino Nimshach, it does not extend itself, Lahachi says Aguf, to make life, to be to bring life to the goof. The presence of the nefesh, yes, but not but not ham shoch as a nefesh. Eno nimshach means it does not reside in the body. Is that the no? Point? No, does not. It, it means it does not extend itself. It does not extend itself to be Mechai the Guf. It is, its, its presence is what's Mechai the Guf, not an activity on its part. Just as a, a person's ownership of a home is by his presence, not by claiming it. Oh, okay, wait. So, Sherei, Etzem Anefesh Enon Nimshach Lihios Lechayos Lechayos is a Guf. Is saying that yes, indeed, the essence of the soul is a, is affecting the body, or it's not drawn down to affect the body. No, 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 what is the reflection of sun? What is the 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 order of of of, of light? Order of light is brightness, not the, the the that which makes light light, not the beam, not the heat, not right. the, not anything. But it did seem like we said every ray of light is indicative of the etzim. So too, the vitality in the body is somehow indicative of the essence of the soul, or no? Yes. Yes, okay. The sun does not illuminate the world by producing beams of light. I'm reacting to your mm. description. The sun does not illuminate the world by producing beams of light. The sun illuminates the world by its presence. It encompasses the world. It claims the world. It says to the world, you are not dark, you are bright. Well, we told you you're dark. I own you, and I'm bright, and therefore you're 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 bright. This is the principle again. We have, the muscle that we have for that is that we can delve into it. Is the human being? Human being picks up a piece of land in the world, which is no man's land. And then he acquires it, he claims it as his. What happens at that moment? Does he get it from a source that is no man's land? Not so. He acquires it by virtue of the godly mandate. He completely negates the the concept that this is no man's land. He gets it directly from the Creator. This is that ownership. Only 
fellowship is such a reality that every person respects it. This is not respect for the person, respect for the, for the, the Creator. This is my own being, is a muscle for this union. And how does he own it? By his presence. And this is the Rebbe translates this further to a much deeper Indian. The oil of Chayza Nefesh. The oil and the Chayza Nefesh. And I said, oil refers to the, 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 the presence of the Nefesh itself. This is the oil and Nefesh. Oil means the, the, the presence of the Nefesh. It's called oil because. Oh, it means the impact, the, 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 the claim of presence, the declaration of Nefesh. And this present in Nefesh ultimately has the ability to give life to the goof. How does he give life to the loaf, to the goof? Goof and Nefesh are worlds apart. If Nefesh should should get into a goof, the goof would cease to exist. Mm. If Nefesh should get into the goof, then the goof would be able to no exclusively that which a nefesh knows, which is divine uh, 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 supreme supremacy. But the goof is able to know world and feel but and touch things and feel them and and and, and, dis- and distinguish between one thing and another in the world on the goof level. So the goof comes to life. How? Because the oil ha nefesh translates in the goof as chayis, to give life to the goof. But how does it accomplish that? Is that by a, an, an effort on the part of the notion of the nefesh to translate itself into, into chayis? He says no. It is not the not, not the etzma nefesh. It is called haoras nefesh. What is the haoras nefesh? Or it means a reflection of the nefesh. <coughs> the haoras of the nefesh. We do not know what nefesh is. Per se, nefesh is in a higher in a higher realm. But we know one thing that the life element in the nefesh, and the fact that nefesh is alive, is not a functional element. Nefesh is alive in, in, in through and through, through and throughout its home it is. There is not an entity that comes to life. It is the essence of life itself. This essence of life, should that be imbued into the body, then the body seems to be a, a, a physical entity. Let's pursue that thought for a moment. The nefesh is in, is in the goof. The nefesh wants to be in 770. What happens? The goof trans, is translated, transported to the, to the 770 without any participation on the part of the goof.
that is not um, any kind of service to the group. So therefore, Lachai and Hachi is a goof to give life to the goof means that the Nefer has to give life to the goof, but to, uh, let it be goof. In order that the Nefer should give chai to the goof and let the goof to be goof, it cannot be the, the essence of this chai. It has to be ha'ora. The ha'ora means a reflection, a life element itself, rather than the, the presence of nefesh, the source of life. The nefesh can tell the goof, I want to be there, and give the roof the impetus and the and energy and so forth, but the goof has to get there on its own, with its own um, capabilities. Step by step. So this high and nefesh is nefesh, but it's not the etzim and nefesh. It is only the ha'or of the nefesh. It's a reflection of what nefesh is. It's not nefesh per se. Third line. Belochei. For this reason, because it is not nefesh itself, it is only the ha'or of the nefesh. Therefore, this ha'or, this air that comes into the goof, to mechai the goof, does not have an effect on the nefesh, does not create, cause any kind of change in the yetz. That's means the nefesh itself. Imeir or yeinemeir. Whether this oil and nefesh is meir, is meir, or it is not meir. 